Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. This week we're coming to you on location from the Experience Conference in Orlando, Florida. Uh, We're going to be here all week. If you're in the area, come on by and say hello. It's going to be awesome. Uh, But we're going to be doing some videos for you guys today from uh, conference. And uh, today we're talking again about using an X32 rack as a monitor console. Uh, And in particular today, we're talking about how to utilize all the uh, analog outputs you have available on the back of the X32 rack. So we're looking at a picture here. You can see that we have uh, eight XLR outs, uh, and then we have um, six uh, aux outs. These are assignable TRS outputs. Um, But if you're familiar with the X32 rack, you can actually do up to 16 mono or eight stereo or anything in between mixes, Um, but this is only 14 uh, analog outputs. Uh, So today we're gonna show you how to utilize these monitor outputs as bus 15 and bus 16 on the X32 rack. So this is actually really easy to do. Um, We're in the X32 uh, editing app here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the monitor section. And if you'll notice, uh, over in monitor source, you have a drop-down list. And this is basically what the monitor outputs are sending whenever nothing is soloed. Uh, so as a default, when nothing's soloed, you're going to hear some variation of the main left-right mix. Well, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to select aux 7 and 8. And this is a basically a direct output from whatever's being routed into aux 7 and 8. So let's hop over there real quick. If you go down to your aux page, you can see the aux 7 and aux 8 are actually the USB left and USB right on your console. Well, as a monitor console, this is basically useless. There's not really gonna be a lot of times in my experience uh, that you're gonna need these for a monitor console. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select USB left, we're gonna go up to the uh, config tab, and in our source, we're gonna change this from being USB left to being bus 15. And then on USB right, we're gonna change that to being bus 16. Now, if you have in the past used any kind of EQ or anything on this, go ahead and turn all that off. We're also gonna go to our sends tab and we're going to just turn off the ability to send this to any of these individual mixes. Otherwise that can get a little bit messy. Um, So, Now, anytime someone's working on bus 15, bus 16, either individually or linked together, uh, that's going to be going to these uh, channels on here, and therefore it's going to be direct outputting to your monitor left and monitor right. So now there's just one more thing we need to do before we're done here, and we need to uh, level match those to the regular line outputs. And the reason why we need to do that is because on the... X32 rack, the monitor outputs are also tied in with this monitor level control that's on the front of the console. So I've kind of played around with this and found that basically if you crank the monitor level all the way, um, you're getting line level plus 6 dB. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, again, the monitor settings on here. Under monitor source, monitor level, we're just going to drop this guy down to negative 6. And then what you can do, let me get precise here, negative six. And so now you can go on the front of your console, take that monitor level, crank it all the way up. Then you can either remove the knob or you can just put a piece of tape over it so that it's not gonna get changed. And that's the best way I found to dummy proof this to make sure it's gonna work every time. Uh, And from there, you're all good to go. Now bus 15 and bus 16 are gonna come out of monitor left and monitor right on your console. You now have 16 analog outputs on your board without buying any other IO. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to this video. uh, And please share this with your friends and other churches. This is a completely free resource. There's over 120 uh, free videos on here now. And uh, just share the love. All right, guys, until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.